Hi guys, this is JNM with a new category for videos. This is an answer to a request on how to start sequences recorded with the sequencer dynamically, for example by using blueprints. I used this scene here with the light switch, for which I already added a blueprint, and the first thing I do is to record a very simple sequence with the Unreal Engine sequencer. So let's start as we did in the previous tutorial. I create this sequence, then I press this little camera icon for creating a cutscene. Then I unlock the camera which is locked to the viewport by default and find a position for my camera. Alright, I think that's a good position for the camera for this cutscene and after that I will enable the auto key feature and add some animation for the cube and for the ball. I will start with this cube that will be moved to the left Frame 100 is the end position. Okay, and here you can see the keyframes are added when I change the position of this cube. And now I will let this Unreal Ball fall down to the ground. Rotate it as it falls off this cube. That's a very simple sequence, you know, just that we have something that we can play with. Okay, that's good enough. And now let's switch to the blueprint of the light switch and see how we can start this sequence dynamically. The autoplay is set to false. It is started when the user activates this light switch and here we have a node that is hit when this is actually done but before we can play the sequence I will add a variable and call this my sequence and the type of this variable will be level sequence it has to be public because I will assign my level blueprint that I created from the outside of this blueprint to this variable okay and now let's see how we can actually play this it's very simple, just drag in the my sequence variable here to the blueprint as a getter and then drag out play. Great, and now let's connect this to the last node. And that's it. We can save and compile. And the last thing we have to do is to assign the level blueprint to the variable my sequence. And that's basically all you have to do to start your sequence from the blueprint. Here start the game, press the E key, the sequence is played and once it is finished the camera is switched back to the player's camera. Guys I really hope you liked this video and it was useful for you and if it was then please subscribe to my channel to not miss a future tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching, thanks for your support and I really hope you come back soon to my channel, to JNM.